guys, this is Bella here and I am back for another vlog. Today is Thursday, February 24th, 7.36 p.m. I know it's kind of late and I'm making a vlog, but I have a few things to uh, update you guys on, which is why I'm here. Um, first things first is I've not been doing much. I've mainly just been watching Grey's Anatomy and fixing my stories. I just finished editing my Iran High School Club story, so I might go on to edit the other one, <coughs> or probably try and go on to something else for the moment, for the time being, just to update, you know, newer stories, because lately I've been thinking, lately I've been thinking about, like, I've been thinking, like, um, oh, I have so much stories, what's gonna happen if I die and I don't finish them, but then again, if I finish them, if I finish them all, what am I gonna do with my life, you know? The more I think about it, the more down spiral it's gonna bring me, so we're not gonna talk any more about that. But um, yeah. But that's that's kinda like what my thinking is, like, oh my god, if I don't finish these and I die, then what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, so many, so much potential. And this is the thing too, is that I have so much, so much potential for my stories, and yet I feel like I don't have the ability to write them how I want it to be. Like, I have all these such these great ideas and these great concepts, but it's like, what if I'm not good enough to write it, you know? But I mean, I haven't gotten there yet, so I'm gonna try not to worry about it, but that's always been a thing, like, oh, what if I'm not good enough to figure this out? But, I mean, I guess there comes a time when, you know, the more that I age and the better my writing comprehension will be, I guess. I don't know, because that's how it's been when I first started writing, mainly because when I first started writing, I was 11, so... Of course, but now 11 and 8 years later, being 19, my writing comprehension has gotten so much better over the time. You know, and with all the books that I'm reading, or with all the books that I have and I'm going to read, I guess I can update my comprehension some more, I guess. Um, but yeah. I don't know, I'm not- the only fandom that- fandom that I'm kind of only into is Grey's Anatomy. I mean, I'm on season 8. I'm only literally just waiting until the plan episode because I've been told that everybody else dies in the plan episode. So, they already killed off George. Why not kill everybody else I like? So, yeah. We're gonna wait till that happens. And then, I did have a, um, a George O'Malley story that literally has nothing to do with being a doctor at all. It's kind of just like, oh, where she meets him type of thing. She's Alex's little sister kind of concept, you know, and how his life was kind of shitty. So, I thought... Oh, another way to make a girl traumatized is by making, having a character whose background is so shitty, so why not have a character become a little sister type thing, so, I don't know. I'm probably gonna end up doing that anyways, because I love George O'Malley, and I may go back to season one just to watch him again, so, who knows. But doing a lot of Grey's Anatomy uh, preferences too, um, and trying to update preferences and shit on my main account because i've been adding some st old stories that i've had like my tommy merlin story and my stanley barber story that i've been wanting to publish that i have hadn't haven't had the idea to really do because i didn't think people would read them type thing but you know i'm always so wishy-washy when it comes to everything i post because it's like oh i love the post when i first do it but then over time it's like yeah this shit sucks i'm gonna delete it so same thing goes for everything that I post on Wattpad and on Instagram and TikTok and everything because, well, my insecurities about how I look has skyrocketed more than ever, but I just don't publicly talk about it because no one fucking cares. So, why bother talking about how I feel when in reality no one really cares? The one thing that made my day, though, is one day at work, which I'll get into in a moment about work, even though you already know kind of a little bit about, about work, but I'll update you. Anyways, but one day at work, I don't know if I told you already or I didn't because that vlog got uploaded kind of late. So yeah, but I got noticed by a fan who reads my stories on Wattpad, which is out of the blue. Never thought that was ever going to happen, but I made my day. It was super fun and I, I, no, she just came up to me and asked if, uh, 
that was, you know, who I am. And she said that she enjoyed all my stories on Wattpad, which is amazing. I loved it. It made my day. I honestly would, honestly, it got me thinking, like, I would want to do a meetup someday of the people that either subscribe to my YouTube or read my stories. Because, I don't know, it just, it just seems so fun. It seems super duper fun, you know? But it's like, I'm never going to become that popular or that famous. Not like that matters to me anyways. But I just thought, oh, maybe it would be cool if I interacted with some of the people that enjoy what I post and enjoy what I write about but you know when it comes to turns it just like oh no one actually really cares what you do in reality so yeah that but yeah that was pretty cool but maybe someday we'll do it who knows maybe someday if I'm still alive by then um oh yeah and about work I work tomorrow till Monday I work Friday Saturday Sunday Monday, right, yeah, there's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days, then I'm off for another three days until I work six and a half and seven and a half hours on Friday, the next Thursday, that, that, yeah, that Friday and Saturday. My next check, however, should be about $800, roughly, depending on how much I take out of my taxes, because last time I was got, I got like 450 and I took out $50 from taxes, so depending on how much I take out, probably maybe 60 maybe a little more, who knows, but <clears throat> that should be enough to, to pay next, re next month's rent, um, Derek literally just walked out to work, because he hasn't been working in three weeks, but he just got a call and they're gonna get him working again, so that should be good, um, but yeah, I've just been doing what I can, packing up as much as I can with what space I got left. There's not much space left, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna try and make space and see if I can pack some more shit up because what I think the plan is next is moving back in with my father and waiting until we move because I talked to him the other day about like an estimate time that an estimate time that, you know, we're going to move. But turns out, my dad has to not only wait for his taxes, okay, hold on, I have to bring up that conversation because I can't remember what all the things were, but he has to get his taxes, file for a place, and then if something like that, give me a second, hold on. Um, tattoo update, doing great pretty much already healed and shit, so yeah, that's good. Um, uh, okay, so technically, he has to wait for his taxes, find a place, apply there, wait till we hopefully get approved, and then my dad has to give a notice for his place, which he has to wait two weeks in order to do that. And then while not only having security and deposit, security deposit and rent, but also while he has to pay his rent too. Evan's looking for a job currently, so that's good. But this entire thing, entire thing is just gonna take forever and anytime I talk about it it, just, it makes me frustrated and upset like the entire moving situation itself like I want to do more than anything it's just how stressful it all is in the beginning you know because it's like there's so much shit that has to go into it and I'm just like so impatient <laughs> like there's application fees $50 per person over 18 who's going to live there then my dad has to get my grandmother out of the house and then so if we move back to my dad's place not only is it going to be more crowded but it's like we have to move Perry we have to move everything back move everything back put it back where it was and stay crammed there until we have to move again I don't, I don't know how we're gonna do that, you know? Because, like, my dad said that 
my, my two older, my old, my brothers don't care about moving back in the same room, you know, which I feel bad for, but it's just like, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna take so long, <laughs> and like, sure, things here have been fine, you know, for now, like, my sanity is still intact somewhat, but... But it's like, then my dad has to find a place, and then move everything over there, and, and then my dad was like, oh, we need to discuss if they want a garage, or a basement, or another townhouse with an extra bedroom, because depending on how much that is, you know, it's just like, me, my boyfriend, and possibly everyone are gonna help pay with rent, you know? And my dad had, had sent me some places a while ago, you know, of places around the area that are free. And there's only two places left that... Two places left that work for moving in that's close by. So... But... I just... I hate... I just... I hate how long it's been. how long that it's gonna take because i just i just i want out of here i need i need that fresh start i hate to just be done with it because it's like i'm losing my sanity <laughs> like i miss my dad i miss my brother it's just So that's like, I also worry about Periwinkle because I don't want to freak her out or stress her out, you know. I've been trying so hard to keep it together, but there's still just so much we have to do. So. All we have to do is wait, but I hate waiting. Um, so yeah, that is basically it, I guess. I'm gonna pack up whatever else I can pack up, because might as well, so yeah. Um, you know what to do. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon.